Hello, I am Han Sloan. No, I am Sir Han Sloan. Hello, welcome to the true London story of the origin of chocolate. Few people think of it while eating their Hershey bars and Cadbury flakes, but that chocolate took quite a journey to get into your grocery store. In the Americas and surrounding islands, a traveller in the rainforest might happen across an unimpressive bit of greenery called the cacao plant. The translation for the genus name of this plant, Theobroma, is food of the gods, an extremely appropriate name, considering that native tribes such as the Incas, the Mayans, and the Aztecs used the bitter liquid distilled from the seeds to induce visions in religious ceremonies. This liquid was generally thought to have medicinal properties, though such was the taste that no one would ever think to drink it for pleasure. I stumbled upon the cacao plant while in Jamaica, cataloguing plants and animals upon the request of my friend and imposter, John Ray. At first, I found the mess nauseating, but soon discovered that after I added milk, it became sweeter, and took on the properties of a drink known today as hot chocolate. When hardened, this liquid became the pleasing, delicious treat enjoyed by so many people worldwide. The Enlightenment was a movement focused on seeking knowledge. Never could I have imagined, upon creating hot chocolate, how lucrative knowledge could be. I sold the recipe for milk chocolate, and the buyer sold it to John Cadbury, then a private businessman running a small confectionery shop. Soon, chocolate was a roaring success. Cadbury, only one of many successful international chocolatiers, is now the leader of chocolate production in the UK. Chocolate has rooted itself so permanently in British society, one would think it had originated here. It has become a symbol of love, of luxury, of indulgence and temptation. It comes in thousands of varieties, shapes, flavours and sizes. After all, who doesn't love chocolate? So the next time you indulge in a bar of chocolate, glass of hot chocolate, or a chocolate bunny tucked into an Easter basket, remember the enlightenment spirit of exploration and discovery that led to the introduction of the cacao plant to Great Britain and ultimately to the world.